Alrighty, we're back. We're back at it. And thanks for coming back. I have... Joins caught me. She caught me. I was working a little too hard. She said, whoa, slow up a minute. And I said, I took the reins and pulled them back. Whoa, I slow up for a second. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. Uh, what's going on with this 36 right now? The quarter panel you've seen, uh, you've seen yesterday, but today it's welded on. We've got it completely welded on. And I went right up to that where, that where I did the crimper thing. I went right up to the crimper thing and spotted it one spot at a time. And I filled the whole quarter panel without warping it. Without warping it. It's nice, flat, smooth. Nice and strong. That's what we want for a quarter panel. The square tubing on the bottom is to keep that quarter panel nice and square and tight. Also, it's going to give me the line where I'm going to chop it off at. The roof, I finished welding it in. I finished welding in, that went well. I'm going to put one, I'm going to put one cross member across it, I think, and that's it. it. Went well. I welded it all the way around, did not warp anything. This side, you watched me put this piece on. You did not get to see me put the square tubing on. What I've done, I laid it on the line over there when I made the other one, and I did the exact same thing here. Exact same thing. I had to do a little bending up the door. They're a little different. And basically what that's for is to keep that quarter panel nice and tight. Tight and right. I did the exact same thing on this one. I welded this one all up, put this piece on. Just I'm just spotting it along the bottom because I do not know exactly what's going on there yet. I do not know exactly what's going on. And basically what happened is, is I put the square tubing on up there, put it on the line. Jolene's down here holding it for me like this. And then when I get up to this end, that end was easy to do because I was there. Then when we get up here, we just did this, clamp that on like that and spotted it, clamped it all the way along and spotted it because we knew we had the right right uh, angle because we went from the other side. And that's basically what I'm doing is one side, I, what, what I do on one side, I have to repeat it on the other side. Everything's a repeat. On this corner back here, I had, I come out, I come out a little early and I got a little bit done and uh, Jolene said, whoa. So I wowed it up. But anyways, I've got the square tubing running around the corner here, coming across the back and I've connected it to the other side. That took me opening the doors up, getting outside and taking a look at it, making sure everything's right, you know. I'm trying to get it to look right. These corners, what I did, this is what I did, I took a square piece of tubing and I sliced it. You can see right here, I sliced it a bunch of times with the, with the zip cut. I just took my square tubing and went like, like that and just went around the corner and then ended it around here a little bit and I made two pieces exactly the same. So I made two of the exact same length. I put them slits in it like that. I come over here on this little round piece of pipe on the English wheel, tapped it over, made a nice corner. Both corners were exactly the same before I applied them to this piece. I ran them around the corner. I knew where the corner went because this piece was on at the time. That piece was on at the time and I knew where the corner was so I knew where to apply it. Now what I've done is I've taken a piece of square tubing and, and tied it together, tied the quarter panels together. So now she's good and tight. She's not flopping out at the firewall. Well, there's a little bit going on the firewall there, but it's not going out at the firewall because it's got the firewall there and it's not opening up at the back because we got this connected now. It's all done nice. As you can see, as I get running this all the way around, I'm gonna to have to do something with the firewall yet and cross there. As you see, I'm running that all the way around there. That's gonna be the footprint of this car. So if you ever see any footprints outside your house, it looked like that. It was the 36 Ford that's cut off. Um, and that right there, I can set that right on the ground. We could trace out the shape of it. We could apply it, the shape. Like we can do it on cardboard, we can do whatever. We could apply the shape to the car before we even start cutting. We would know the footprint. Um, that's basically what I'm going for is just trying to get the top half of the car so I can apply it to the Mercury. Um, the square tubing, I do not know if it's going to stay or not. Basically in the back, I know it's going to in a part. We'll see. But it is getting very, it's getting, it's getting to be something now. And now I've got a, a difficult job of putting this piece on. Um, we've got some bronze in there. It's not good. This is rotted out. We've got some bronze. We've got fixed in there. I've already cut the back out. We're not, um, what I'm thinking is the trunk, when, the, when, when I go to get in this cab over, it'd be pretty, you'd have to climb over the quarter panel of the car to get at this trunk. So 
I'm thinking that the trunk cover is not going on. It's, it's not going on. Basically, there'll be some. There's room in there for something else or whatever. You can put lug whatever. It's just a trunk from the inside, and that's it. I'm not doing the outside because you'd have to be on the back of the car. And I don't think that if someone gets up on the back of the car, they better watch it. I might I might do something. But anyways, let's let's go for this piece. As you can see, this piece this piece goes like this, like this. And it's like this. And I've made this round piece on this uh, square tubing on the back. I just took that one, bow, bow, put it in there. I took the center of the bend, the center of the bend as I beat it on the floor. I took the center of the bend and plied the center of the bend with the center of the bend in the center. And then I cut each end to make it fit. Sometimes when you bang it on the ground, you'll get more of a bend in the middle than you will on the ends. So I've took the center of a four foot piece and I've cut each end off to make it exactly the same or try to. Uh, Jolene caught me, so here's where we're, here's where we're at. Um, I got a new piece of metal that was just put in, come in from Napa Know How, and uh, it's looking pretty good. Everything's tied together real good. The, the, the whole thing is looking pretty good. Um, I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it. I've got a piece of metal here. I put it through the, the roller. And also, this one, this piece here, got rolled probably like the roof panel should have been rolled. Um, it should have been, you know, not that much, but yet just enough. Uh, I think that would have been fine for the roof panel. That would have been fine. Hoping we didn't get, did I just get a little edge on that? Yeah, that makes me, I don't like that little edge when it does that. Get that little start edge. Anyways, here we go. I'm going to put this on there. I've got, I've only got one shape right now. I've only got this shape. I haven't got this shape. You can see it. It's slight. And we got this one here too, but here we go. I'm going to put that and cut that off. So, as you can see, I still got this stuff on. I want that for structure right now. I really do. I want it for structure. If I cut it off, that'll bend down very easy. I don't want that. I'm going to leave it there. When I, when I come in here and I weld this on and I finish it, then I'll come up inside and I'll zip cut that off and I can show you how I do it. But basically what I'm going to do right at the present second is I'm going to lay, lay that on there. I'm going to lay that on there. And I've got to find out on the back side a little bit of a little bit of stuff is what I've got to find out. I've got to find out the line that I need to cut off this piece. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to tack the, the metal on there. And then I can come in on the inside and I can trace that off. That's basically what I'm going to do. And then we will have the whole new bag. Yeah, it's, it's going good. It's going good. We got two, two different shapes going here. I'm just trying to apply it in the center. That's all I'm trying to do. And I'm just feeling with my hands. How do you feel? I feel with my hands. <laughs> How do you feel, baby, with your hands? Yeah, feel with your hands. Is that tight? Ooh, looks tight. Not bad. Not bad. So now, I really... I'm really, I'm gonna do something, I guess, I'm gonna try it. Okay, we're holding our shape that far. So I want to make sure I have enough. I'm going to go down inside here. And I made it, I made the piece of metal long because I did not know. I do not know where, where it goes together, how it fits. I could, there was nothing I could do there and try to make that fit, make a pattern with paper. It was just kind of odd. So I'm going to get underneath there with a marker. I got my blinder still on. I had a marker. I did. 
I know I did. Here I go again, boys, looking for a marker. I had one just a second ago. I did. I see it on the floor, I bet you. Where I took it down the house. So I'm going underneath here. And you can see, you can see, or I can see. And I just pull that down a little bit. Oh, don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Pull this one down a little bit. Actually, I might do this instead. I'm not even, I don't even think I'm going to take that off. I think I'll put it together just like this. I'm out here quite a ways on this corner. These corners are rotted off, so I'm, when I push that down, I'm gonna get this tight right here, I'm gonna make my own corner to finish that, and I'll make an own corner on that side to finish. I just think it's gonna be a lot easier to do it that way. So basically what I'm trying to do, I'm gonna get in there and I'm gonna tack that and hold that down best I can in the center. On the inside, I'm gonna hold it with the, I'll see where it's welded on, and then I can come on the outside and cut it off. I think it would be a lot easier. You can see what's going on. If you take your camera and look down here, see how I got a, I got a round piece in the back. It's really, it's really quite something, actually. A round piece going in the back, and then I got a round piece going on here. So I've got two different, two, two big rolls going on. Two big different things going on here. Do you know what I'm saying? Like in here, I'm looking, yeah, right in there. So I've got to get it knocked down in the center. I don't think I need my helmet or anything, I don't think. Just gonna get it pulled down the center. This, is a, this one's a doozy. She's a doozy. That's where we're, I guess that's why we're putting her on the camera. She's a doozy. I'm gonna bring it down and tack it into the center, and then that's gonna be what I'm gonna say or and do. So I'm pulling that in the best I can. Tight down there. I don't know what's going on up here. I gotta take a look. Gotta take a look, man. That's tight on that side. Why did I got that tighter down on that side? Hmm. Looking for a tape measure. Probably got that side pulled down a little tighter. Tape measure would tell me. Got. Three and three quarter. Three and three quarter. <laughs> yeah, I think I think we're pretty good. You know, for weld marks, right? So you can see where the weld where the the metal is where she's going. Why? I'm not liking. What am I not liking? 
I like this side. I like this side because this side can. Hmm. This side is just very, very. Hmm. I'm going to have a, a go with this one. This one's going to be a hard go, I think. I think. <laughs> just because I got two things going on here. Marker, where'd I put it? Got my head running around here a little bit. And we know that's, I'll be able to cut that off because it's welded there. This one I like, and that one over there I don't like, basically. I like this side, I don't like that side. That side's up too high. See how the side's tucked down nice? That side's got a big bow in it. So basically what's going to happen is I'm going to have to try to get these two off and shove it down further. That's basically what's going to happen. And I think I'm going to try to get them off before I, before I cut it off. Or be easier to cut them off when I get it off. There. Half dozen one or the other. Let's cut it off. This one off and try to get that down some. On there for that. that's what I want. I want to get that down on there further. Or sit nicer. I don't mind this side. I don't mind that side at all. Just side I want down. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hold it down, vice grip it, and hmm, that's the end of it. That'll be good. <laughs> cool. Cool. Yeah, that'll work there. That'll work. That'll work.
the wee one. Now it's sort of like for the center to come up, I think. It's sort of like that center to come up. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. How do I get this? I mean, I'll just leave the, I'm going to leave this one and that one and unhook these three and let the center. This outside's fitting good. This outside's fitting good. Now we're down pretty well tight on that. I can cut that metal back to, to get tight. I can roll over lat there, roll down. I can beat it down, stretch it, but I want more height in the center. I'm down in the center and we've got more height here, more height here. So I'm wanting this to go up. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. See what happens. I don't know how far I got to go. But untack it and see what happens. That's all I can do. I can untack it, see what happens, and that's the end of it. I hope that I can get more. That side there looks... I wonder, sweetheart, if I buckle that up on that corner. What's that, sweetheart? Uh, I think it would be be probably a good thing if I got you over here to tack that. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna tack a few things first, walking and everything. I don't put anything back sometimes, that's why I miss it. See the third, there it is. I want to tack this down. Just easy if I can. Kind of fool me if I don't get it tacked down. Fools me, the height fools me. Now, I like that better, pushed in. All right, I'm going to use this and do it, I guess. Tack that from the inside would be nice. I'm going to run both sides down. That them sides look nice right there. I'm going to roll both sides down, and then I'm going to play with the center. That's what I'm going to do. Change my mind. And it happens all the time. Happens all the time. That's what has to, you have to do, I guess. To here's my hammer. So we're going to come over here. If you want to come over here and. We'll get the first one tacked down. We're going to run that along there, and that we're going to run that along there because we can, because it's a place to weld to. Uh, the center, I'm going to leave alone right now. I want to run because I can get a true read on the outside. If I had cut the inner construction off this inside trunk piece, that piece right there would become flimsy, and I would I don't want that. I want that piece to be structural, strong, so I can push on it, whatever. Same with this side. So we're going to get the both sides fitting down tight. 
and then we'll get the center where, where it looks the best. Right now, it don't look bad, but it don't look its best. And I'm thinking that we're getting a, like a low spot in the center. And uh, yeah, let's see what we can do. And that's all we can do. In a baby, huh? That's all we can do. Tag the hammer. All right, we'll get. Now you know if I you know if I was pounding on that, and I never had it. I am holding up on the car as I pound down. I got that microphone in there, or that, uh, here's your speaker in there. Picking the car up. What, what you call working it. Yep. Yo. Yo. I might take that off. There's a, I got one nailed there. All right, I'm gonna nail this up. Get, get this nice and tight up in here. Here, we need to get out of my hand. I guess. <laughs> Just closing my eyes before I hit the welder. for a minute because I don't know what's going on right here right yet. It's fitting good around that corner though. I knew that might do that, but we're okay. Ba, 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 ba. I feel like the luckiest man in the world, you know that? You know why? I get to work on whatever I want to. <laughs> love it, love it. Ah, I'm just wondering. Now that I got that nailed on there, I don't think I have to have that nailed down the back. And I'll tell you the reason why. It's because I got this running, running over here good. We're close to 
but well, so we'll just keep running this side down, then we know where she's gonna go. Ooh, that fits good. And the other reason I'm the luckiest man in the world is I got Jolene. She's looking mighty fine today, boy. Mighty fine today. Woke up at seven, looks like a 10. <laughs> Oh, I just shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done that. See what I did there? What it is, I put the weld on top of the weld. When you got something held down and you just spotted it, don't go on top of it and weld it again because what's it, what it does, it heats the metal up and frees it and lets it, lets it lets go. There we go. Not going near it anymore. There we go. Get her tight somewhere. I don't know if she's gonna get tight there or not, is she? There she is. Let's make sure it stays. So I talked about the bronze they got fixed in there. Put her back down on her, kick her again. I'm going to nail it right beside it. Right beside it, not on it, right beside it. Tight. Tight. Oops, sorry. Ouch. Down my sleeve. Damn, my sweet. There's their repair. I'm leaving it there for now. Alrighty. Let's do this. Holding it till the red's gone. Holding it till the red's gone. Alrighty. Gonna make a little corner there. Make, I'll make a little corner there. I'll make a little corner over here too. What's that, sweetheart? You wanna check my mic? You gonna check my mic, boys? See if we're still on. Everything good? Cool. I may have, should have run something across there, but just didn't want to, I guess. Didn't want to. Um, I'm gonna hammer and dolly that together the best I can. This right here, this back piece, try to get that lifted up some. I'm gonna hammer and dolly that together. Which dolly do I want? I'm gonna use this one, just more surface, and it's round. And I'm gonna work it from, I'm gonna make some noise. So if we're at the NASCAR race, you turn it up and you hear the more noise. Uh, we'll put some more noise. Well, the more and more I work on it, the more and more pieces leave the 36. You know? <laughs> it's got good metal in it now. It's got some good metal. Uh, we're deleting trunk. That's what we're doing. We're deleting the trunk. I think I'm gonna start in the center.
I might want to tack it. Boom, boom, boom. We're on the butt weld here. Where it's tight and right. When it comes together, butt welding, I guess you can't get no better. I don't think, can you? The man in me, man. Ticked it, tacked it wrong there. Don't get that looking go good right there. Hammer marks, I don't like it. See? Just kind of wondering where I can. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get that off. I'm gonna start from that side, start from that side, work to the center. That's what I'm gonna do. Come on. Got them connected on either outside, not on this side. I have not. On this side, I think it's connected, and it's not anymore. Disconnected, disconnected, disconnected. Alrighty. Not sure what to do on this one. Not sure right this second. Not sure. If you're not sure, step back and take a look for a second, eh? It's tight. No. This one here can be cut off a little bit.
and hit it. See, I gotta get that back round too, eh? I was thinking about putting a piece of square tubing in there. I probably should have put one across there. Yeah, ain't working right. I don't want to bend my back. I got my back piece bent up here a little bit. You can see that bent up a little bit. All right. I'm going to take the zip cut and I'm going to cut it and I'm going to butt weld it. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut right along here. I'm going to butt weld it. I see I got a couple little dents in here. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take him butt one. What do you think, sweetheart? Huh? Get this down, that down. That's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna get a grinder. Zip cut. <laughs> huh? That's good stuff, eh? Good stuff there. Good stuff. I'm going to take a step back here for a second. I want to zip cut across that. I got it banged up there a little bit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to zip cut that across there and then I'll butt weld it together and then I'll hammer and dolly it because I'm really getting, I'm really going to make my, end up making myself a mess. I don't want to make a mess. I don't want to make a mess. That's nice and flat and smooth right now. I don't want to get it all crooked and me pushing on it is not helping on it. It's going okay this minute. So what I'm gonna do is zip cut. Where's the zip cut at, baby, you know? Zip cut this one. And then we'll butt weld it together. And then we'll butt weld it together. gonna happen.
be a mess there, boys. Getting to be a mess. Hard to help, you know, when you got four different cords running to four different things. Hard to help sometimes. All right, we're doing good so far. And I guess I'm not scared to cut it because both sides are down tight. Uh, both sides are down tight, so I'm at where I'm at, or supposed to be, I guess. Let's get this back in order. I want one on there, but we're together. We're buttoned together. Keep going along. That piece of the back there to my way. Wait a second. Little piece in the back. There we go. That looks good. That looks good. That looks good. I'm happier with it now. Happy with it now. Whatever you're doing, keep doing it. Put it on there. Got some dents right there. Caused that with a hammer and dolly. Gonna fix that. Take my time and dolly it out nice. Ooh, there we go. I had to let that one off, see? Tap that in there now. We'll butt them two together too. Beautiful. Beautiful. Awesome. Loving it. I'm loving it. That hurt. <laughs> and on my knee, that hurt.
back together. Now, I'll do one in between each one now. Good. No warpies. Got a nice round back on it so far. Mm. Let's go over here again. After I beat and pound on it for a while, it might even want to be split again. Like, um, I see that I'm butt welding it together here, but as I'm dollying it, you can see, see how that metal went right tight together there? That metal went right tight together, closed it right up, it, did, it wasn't like that before. But as I'm roll, making that roll nice and dollying it, it's coming together. Watch over here, watch it, the metal will come together. <laughs> And that's when you split it again and you and you doll and you dolly it again and cut it. So well right now I'm trying to shrink it, I'm trying to shrink it, get it in place. And see how that took that in, right? So there's a bit of play in there. And I can zip cut that again. Don't know if I will or not, but I can. You can see where it's where the weld is puckered in. You can see where the weld has gone in as I hammer dollied that. What I might do, what I might do is do the exact same thing that uh, you know I seen Gene do with a torch. I might, I'm not sure. I might weld a distance of it and then hammer weld it. Let's try it. Just for the heck of it. Let's do a little hammer welding across the back. And the reason I'm going to, what, the reason why I say I'm going to do a little hammer welding is because it's got a nice round shape. You look at the back's nice and round. That's nice. It's good. I'm happy with it. Um, what I'm saying is with a little bit of heat, with the heat and the hammer and dolly, we should be able to hammer it with, with, with a MIG welder. Let's try it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run four or five spots like four, five, six, seven, eight spots here. What I'll try to do, maybe right here on the corner so we can't warp too, you know, go too bad. What I'll do is I'll do it there. Then I'll get my hammer and dolly ready, go right in, right in after and see what happens. See what happens. I don't usually do that, but. And I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. Cools off too fast. Just don't want to. No. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to zip weld or zip cut it again. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to probably zip cut it again. And I can tack that on. I'm going to hit that out somewhere. No. 
Okay. This side looks pretty good. Got lost the disc. Nah. You can see how close it is there. How tight it is. Yeah. That's good though. I think that... Much better. Much better. Basically, all I'm doing is shrinking that metal there. It's all I'm doing is shrinking it. Just taking metal out of it, so. If you can remember, I had a big zip, big uh, zip cut there, and I don't now. You don't know, do you? Good. A little metal out of it. Just kind of get that round edge going on. Get down. I gotta get down. You can see it, see it wrinkling it. Cutting out more and more as I go, if you can tell. When the grinder gets bound, you hear it bounding up. He says it looks good, it looks good. That's it. Using this shape here. Yeah, just trying to round her off. There.
to get in there and look at it. I got to get in there and look at it. Let's see it. Got a bunch of stuff around here, dude. I'm going to hit this one because it deserves it. Trying to get the edge down as tight as I can. Boop, boop. Come on. Can you get the stick very good there? I don't think. Crucial. Get it down tight as possible. It's crucial. I like, I've said it before, I like getting the weld as close as I can to the, to the body lines because it's easier to grind off and fill. And I got a little... I got a little massage to do across the back there, <laughs> but that fits. That fits pretty good, you know. I'm quite, uh, quite tickled with that. Going to put a little piece here in the corner. Well, a little piece on here and bring it down here and put a little corner in there. And... Uh, Looks pretty good. Huh? Woo woo! I'm happy with that. Gotta put a little piece in this corner here. That was a struggle. Believe me, that was a struggle. That was a struggle. I'll go along there and play with that, work that all the way along. Keep hammering and dollying it, Keep, make it the round as, uh, as I can, round as I can, so I can get that rounded off so I can make it look good. Uh, and that's how I put a trunk in a 36 Ford. That's how I filled the trunk in. That's how I did it. Alrighty. 
All right, that was a real, a real life struggle to put that piece on. Wasn't quite sure how that was going to go, but it went fairly well. I haven't got it warped up or anything. It's all in there in one piece. I got a couple corners to make, and anything that's anything that's inside here, that's that piece in here, I will cut that out with a zip cut and rip that out. Maybe we'll show you that. Maybe we won't. I don't know. But uh, there it is in a handbag. Have a good one, everybody. You come back. We'll do something else. I'm probably going to try to get this all welded. Probably going to try to get this all welded. Beat around, tapped around with a hammer and dolly and all that stuff, make some corners, and I'll have it dressed to impress when you get back. Uh, when, when you come back tomorrow, like I said, I'll probably continue on this thing because this thing still needs to be busted out, still needs to be tap, 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 tap done. What I'll do tomorrow is I'll come in here tomorrow and I'll go up to the firewall because the trunk area will be done. I'm probably going to come up here and decide what we're going to do with the firewall. We're going to connect this square tubing here across to that square tubing over there. And then we're going to take the reciprocator saw and we're going to cut the whole bottom off the car. And then we're going to set it on the cement and look at it. That's basically what we're going to do. So hopefully I can get that all done for you. We'll get, yeah, I'll get this welded up tonight. Tomorrow we'll be on to the firewall, square tubing, cut the firewall, do whatever we got to do there. We'll set, cut the bottom of it, set it on the ground. See you tomorrow. Jolene, you look fantastic. I love you, baby. Have a good day, everybody.